I get asked a lot when I'm streaming about the origin of the But NASA emote. And this is an emote which has become uh, a really integral part of the the culture and um, the the kind of community on my channel. It's also become really important to me for reasons I'll get into at the end. Um, but I just want to tell the initially tell the story of where this emote came from, uh, where the phrase came from. So it was back in I think it was probably 2020. I'm not sure exactly when, but like the beginning of COVID. And someone came into the channel and my regulars, we, we were having a chat as we quite often do about, you know, science news or something like that. And we were talking about the fact that um, some, some data from uh, the Cassini mission had been analyzed and that the scientists working on that data had discovered that there were organic molecules um, coming out of Enceladus, which is this moon you can see next to me. Um, I'll actually put the article link in the description if you're interested, because it's actually a really interesting read. Um, but basically, yeah, organic molecules coming out of Enceladus, really, really interesting science. Um, of course, doesn't mean that there's necessarily life inside Enceladus in its oceans, um, but it could do. Like, there, there could be life on Enceladus. It is possible. It's very, very unlikely, but it's possible. And so we were having that conversation just saying, oh, well, that's interesting, you know, it needs more science, could mean there's life on Enceladus, but probably not. And then someone pipes up in chat, literally, but NASA have already proven there is life on Mars. And <laughs> when I usually describe this story, I usually think of it as like the, the Wild West saloon, you know, and then the old movies where, um, you know, the baddie comes in through the through the, the shutter doors and uh, you know like the pianist stops playing the piano and the, the the barkeep like puts down the bottle that they're that they're you know servicing and and bring out their shotgun and everyone stops playing cards you know it, it felt a bit like that where everyone's like what and and so of course then I and some other people in in chat started to question this person like what do you mean that Mars has li what, what do you mean that NASA found life on Mars? Because that's obviously not true. And um, I, I suspected I knew what they were referring to because there was, um, years ago, there was a, uh, a, a photograph, uh, a, a, micros a microscope photograph that was taken on Mars by one of the rovers that looked like some kind of filament. And a lot of people were like, oh, maybe it's organic. Same sort of thing as the Enceladus moon thing, right? So it might be life, it's probably not life, but it could be something lifelike. And um, and so, yeah, this person was absolutely adamant that that NASA had proven that there was life on Mars. But we, we would just kept asking them, okay, that's a really interesting claim. Where's the evidence? Because if, if NASA had proven that there was life on another planetary body other than Earth, this would be the biggest news story humanity had ever uh, you know broken and we would all know about it because it would be everywhere and it would massively change our civilization our philosophy religion like loads of things would be impacted by it. so where is your evidence like do you do you have a scientific paper do you have a link do you do you have a news article a tweet like anything and I was expecting them to go away and find a link to this filament picture but they didn't. They just kept saying over and over again, but NASA's already proven it. And we would say again and again, well, no, they haven't. Do you have any evidence that they have? Because if they have, that would be really cool. And then, no, but NASA has already proven life on Mars. And this went on for quite a while. And they never came up with any evidence or links or anything. And, um, and the last thing that this person said before they stopped talking was, but NASA but NASA, and then they left. And so this has become on my channel a bit of a, almost an in-joke, but it's actually really serious for me because I'm a massive proponent of critical thinking and teaching critical thinking and making sure that I use critical thinking as much as possible in my day-to-day -day life. I'm really trying to understand things, analyze things, try to know as many true things and as few false, false things as possible. 
and this person obviously hadn't applied critical thinking to this particular subject. And so this has become a symbol for me of critical thinking and rationality. And so now, whenever someone comes into the channel and they put some kind of crazy theory, like NASA's proven life on Mars, um, you know, certain foods are bad for you when there's no evidence that they are, um, in World of Warships, which is my main game on Twitch, um, the fact that uh, skill and win rate are not linked, that's a very common one. Um, my regulars will, will start to put but NASA emotes in chat because they know that this this person is, is not thinking rationally. And that that is not the um, you know, that's not the common understanding of, of that particular subject. And and so it yeah, it's just a bit of an elbow to the people who know. Um, but it's really it's become really, really important to me as a symbol of critical thinking. So yeah, that's the that's the origin story of But NASA. So if you do come by my Twitch channel uh, and you do see someone who is uh, saying something which doesn't quite check out, drop a butt NASA because the people who hang around will, will understand what you mean and that you're giving them a little bit of an elbow. Butt NASA. <laughs>